Tracker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner-operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising, the voice of Canadian trucking. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television. Hauling with steel specialists, locomote systems. Rig of the week, a 1987 Freightliner from Outer Limits. Long haul with Challenger Motor Freight. But first, Western Canada's Spady Transport. Before I started my trucking career in Canada, I drove um, a tour bus for five and a half years. Pretty much seen a big chunk of the country here in Canada, across and uh, and, and all Western US. I wish uh, our drivers had uh, better training. Uh, and that means on, on both ends, uh, the, the four-wheeler drivers and, and the commercial drivers, uh, especially the, on the entry level. We, with the heavier vehicles, we cannot stop on a dime on a, as, on a, as a short distance as the four-wheelers can. The speed and the weight, the faster you drive with that, with that weight, then, then, then it takes a lot longer distance to stop the vehicle. stone's throw from the truck crossing. We have a yard in the back as far as border crossing, getting the paperwork done and stuff like that. It's all here. It's Everything is here. Cross the border and we're on the I-5 and we just go right down the coast, right down San Diego. In the early 70s, I remember there was a big gas shortage. Fuel went up from 50 cents that everybody was crying, they didn't, there wasn't any fuel. So the trucks are, you know, getting better on fuel, but it has to, because if you take a look at the rates now compared to well, some years back, you're hauling more. It's cheaper. It's gotten cheaper and cheaper. I mean, the rates haven't increased according to what we've actually been moving. You can sharpen your pencils and try to do as much as you can educate the drivers on how to drive and get the most out of their vehicle. But it comes to a point where the rates have to reflect what it costs to do business. If they can keep the price of fuel down, and you know, things are, should grow and, and and get better, but you know, I mean, the economy being the way it is and everything, it's a supply and demand. If they can afford the fuel and go along, fine. If not, trucks are going to be regional and the trains are going to do the long stuff. You know, but that remains to be seen. As long as the trucks are rolling, then uh, everything keeps rolling, right? As long as everyone's on the road and moving and not stuck anywhere, then uh, we're doing our job. We do the uh, customs clearances for shipments. So everything we get, we do have to cross the border with, and we have to make sure all our paperwork's correct. And we've got a process that's called e-manifest and ACI that's cross-border customs paperwork. So we make sure all of that's in order and all of that's entered in our systems so that the guys are very streamlined when they cross the border. If you've set it up at one border and a driver comes into another border, 
that can hinder a customs clearance. The drivers get to the border when they say they would get to the border. We would like to see one day the same thing as it is in United Europe. No borders. After the break, going the distance with Challenger Motor Freight. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School, training for your future, your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Closed captioning by National Truck League. Partners with the trucking industry since 1988. Yesterday, after we left Nipigon heading towards Dryden, um, the temperature was about 15 Celsius and it slowly went down to, um, I think it was about uh, minus two um, and it was snowing quite heavily. We saw um, a truck, um, oncoming truck, um, on our side of the road against the rocks in a ditch and a car upside down. Um, we saw another truck that seemed like he was going too fast through a town and spun out and um, his rear wheels were in a ditch. Um, like I said, take your time, read the road, reduce your speed. Best to be there, arrive alive than, you know, company answering to your family why, you know, why you was going too fast. Well, our plans for today is um, we're um, nine hours away from Regina. That's what we're trying to head for. Um, because we're on electronic log, we're burning our hours by just sitting, waiting. Um, the load has to be in um, Kamloops for um, um, 2.15 Eastern time, 11.15 um, Pacific time. This is a Volvo, uh, a 2013 Volvo. It has an I-shift gear system, um, which automatically, it, um, it can read the road, it can, it can choose the gear that it needs to choose for the different type of um, gradients that you're on. Um, it has an engine brake, which is good. 
um, you can set it to automatic and you can set your speed at um, 90 kilometers an hour and set the engine brake to come on um, at 90 but not to go above 93 kilometers an hour which is good so if you're going down a hill fast it'll automatically come on and it will slow you down to 90 kilometers. It was on paper log like most of the truckers out there now. Um, Challenger is introduced the electronic log. Another one with the big horns. See the ones with the big horns? Caribou. 80% of the fleet is now e-logged. Uh, they want to get the other 20% up and running. And it's a, a lot of drivers don't want to use it, think it's bad. That means those drivers are the ones that, you know, falsify their logs a lot. Um, I like it because um, it tells you that how many hours you have left of the day. It does all your calculations. Um, I, it's, a, it's a great asset. I think it's brilliant. And from what I understand, the whole of um, Canada will eventually be on e-log and same as the USA. Yeah, a dry box, yeah, I don't, you know, I've done reefer. I haven't done any flatbed or um, special commodities with um, Challenger. Dry box I like, there's, there's, there's no hard work in it. Okay, you might have to secure the load, you might have to brace the load if you're carrying um, copper or um, zinc, you might have to brace the load, but that's about it. That's why you've got to be observant. Read the signs, read the row signs. They're all going round to the left, so that tells you it's going to be a sharp bend. It's just going round and round and round. There's no need to go fast round this bend. We've just left Winnipeg on our way to um, Regina and we're just starting our way across the prairies. <coughs> um, the prairies is just flat and it's just mainly where they grow all the grain um, for the world. Um, not only just for Canada but for the world. Um, and it's just flat, it just goes on and on and on. There's no more hills now until we hit the, um, the Rocky Mountains in Alberta. Today we've lost a lot of time, we've lost about four hours. Um, we've got about another 500 kilometers to go to get to Regina. We're gonna hit it in darkness. Um, have to be very careful now because we don't know what's gonna be out there in the, in, on the prairies uh, with coyotes and um, deer. After the break, hauling with steel specialists locomote system. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at fleetwaytransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. 
New Line Spray Suppression. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television, by truckers for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television Advertising, speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators, competitive fuel surcharge program, base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men, late model all Peterbilt fleet, dependable runs, great pay and benefits, locomote systems, transportation specialists. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. I've been driving going on 16 years. Second generation, my dad drove, my brother drives, he's, a, he's been driving 30 some years now himself. Started off, I went to Markel when they had their training school, did my training there. From there to McGillian Transport, started off hauling steel right off the bat. The steel business is a little bit different because we basically do the same thing every day. I just enjoy it. It's good exercise for one. You're always out of the truck. You're tarping, you're chaining, you're moving around. You're not just sitting here in the seat for 10, 12, 14 hours a day. You're out doing something, moving around. Social media is the easiest way to get in touch with people now. It's a broad spectrum, you get every nationality. I've spent a lot of time the last couple of years just talking to people, listening, going to truck stops and just sitting and listening to the older guys talk. This is how it used to be. This is the way it should be. There's no respect anymore. Nobody respects the people in the seat. So I talk to a bunch of my friends about it. Justin Price, Justin Hurl, David McDonald, Dan Prentice. And we kind of got together and started this group, Brothers of the Highway. We have people on there from Australia. They're interested in coming here to work. There's people on there from Europe. They're all over the US. You can find out what's going on in Australia. You can find out what's going on in Alaska, if you ask just through a Facebook social media group. Find out what scales are doing, you can find out where accidents are, weather reports, just by asking. It's kind of like what we used to do with the radio, except you can reach further with it. I spent most of my childhood from the age of six months 
all my spare time I was in the truck. I love being in the seat, just staring out the window. It's something you gotta like. If you don't like being gone or if you don't like traveling, you're gonna hate the job. Most guys, when they start out, they start out doing local. Me personally, I don't like doing it. I like being out on the highway. And everybody thinks it's kind of weird, but I that's where I relax, is out on the road. The longer stuff, even better. Because you're basically doing less work, more driving. Pay attention to the older guys, especially the ones that are willing to teach you, which doesn't happen a lot in this business anymore. It's gone to the, that's somebody else's problem, not my problem, I'll let them do it. When you find somebody that does that, that was actually willing to take the time to help you, pay attention to them. After the break, a 1987 Freightliner from Outer Limits. Long haul with Challenger Motor Freight. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying... Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers. Women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Hello, my name is Gary Wild, nickname Wildman. How are you doing? I've been driving now for 25 years. I work for Outer Limits Transportation out of Petersburg, Ontario. We do a lot up north, Thunder Bay, Cochrane up there, the corridor between Windsor and Montreal. We do a lot of heavy stuff, wide loads, low boys, high loads, you name it, we haul it. This truck behind us right here, is my boss's truck, Brad Schott, who owns the company. It's a 1987 Freightliner. It's a good old boy. It's got a 425 cat mechanical in it. The old type that still puts the black smoke out of the stacks. There's only one seat in it. He's got it all the inside, customized inside. As you can see, it's all painted flat back. The big black stacks on it, the fenders on the back. It's just a, it's a sweet truck. The Bush Bar, he got that made here about six months ago. A guy handmade that down in uh, 
Petersburg, Ontario. He, he, he took the measurements, and that wasn't a button one. He handmade it, took the measurements, and made that. It still works. It doesn't work a whole lot, but it, it's, it's still it's a working truck, and it's, it's his pride and joy. Today it's pretty cold, it's about minus seven. Um, we just stopped at the Husky at um, Swift Curran, just to use the washrooms, give the mirrors a quick clean. Road conditions are dry, um, but it's pretty windy out there. So yeah, things are looking good. Still got 766 kilometers to do today. Our uh, next, next stop will be um, Brooks in um, Alberta, we'll refuel there, and that will see us all the way over to Kamloops. We're heading now, like from Moose Jaw to um, Golden, BC. That's where we're going to park for tonight, and then deliver tomorrow in Kamloops. I tell my students that. When you're, when you're driving at night and it's, and it's really cold out there and, you, and, and you're trying to get to that truck stop or the um, you know, rest area and, and the music's not helping, open your window, let the cold air come in and then if you can, just put your hand up the top there, leave it there for a couple of minutes until you just can't feel nothing in your fingers and then bring it in and just put it over your underpants and, and, you, and you'll, you'll know, it'll wake you up. So that's the tip of today. Okay, we've just um, we stopped in Brooks, um, and refueled and put some um, dead fluid in, um, had a bite to eat and a coffee, and we've hit some bad weather here on the prairies. And we've just come out of the prairies and we're heading towards Calgary, which we can see in the distance. And um, later on this afternoon, we should hit the, um, the Rocky Mountains and um, head towards Golden and then shut down for the evening. Make sure that you're not overweight on your, um, on your drives and um, on your tandems, just making sure that you're not overweight and that the vehicle looks um, healthy. If it's open, you've got to go in. By the, um, what the lights tell you. New trucks, old trucks. Show trucks, working trucks. We all take pride in our ride. Send us a picture of your truck to be entered into a draw for a set of new line fenders of your choice and be on Trucker Television. Next week on Trucker Television, we chain up to cross the Rockies with Challenger Motor Freight. Rig of the week at 379 Pete. Hauling steel with locomote systems. Trucker Television is brought to you by Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialists, Biker TV, the best of Canadian motorcycling, Season 10, Laid Law Carriers Van LP. A great place to work.